profitable business, but not a humane one. There are humane stores in this area, Petland East Liberty and Petland Norwin both sell shelter and rescue dogs, which is fantastic. It also lower the euthanasia rates. Um, we, we put to sleep thousands of dogs every day in this country, and all of the shelters in our area, unfortunately, it's the same thing. There's just no space. It's not the shelter's fault. It's a community problem. You just we need it. This would help get it. This would help reduce those numbers too. So, um, I like I said, last thing, the last page of that packet are uh, copies of transport certificates that you can see from Missouri, I believe. But I have pages and pages and pages of those. I just wanted to show you. That shows exactly where they came from, how old they are. They're only eight, eight to ten weeks old when they're taken from this mill, put on a truck, and shipped, what is it, I think it's about a thousand miles from here to Missouri, Kansas, Iowa, Nebraska. Those are like the big states. So that is what I'm um, asking of you to please consider a van. Like I said, it wouldn't affect any uh, business in here in Virginia right now at all. It would just be a, like a preventative measure. So any questions? I have a ton of stuff, like I said, I've collected. I'm willing to share whatever you want to see, whatever I can email you or send you. Um, I don't, and this yeah. isn't the first time. You know, I know we've talked and um, we mentioned <coughs> by Lori and Tom here. I mean, we're looking at the legality of it uh, to see what it would take to, you know, to not some bolts of the ordinance. Like, as you said, we're trying to do it statewide. Mm -hmm. and I think there's an issue statewide. We're trying to figure out where you know, the takeoffs are. So, yeah, no, 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 no. If you like, yeah, and, and we have from the first times that you've submitted the stuff to Lori, we've looked at it and not taken a look at it, certainly without disagreeing at all with, with the merits of it. There are some concerns that we had, especially when we don't have one in Bridgeville. And I know you noted other states around the country, and even Pittsburgh and Philadelphia, and I kind of look at the legal. There's a potential legality question for us which is, um, and there has been actually litigation around the country in places where they have, as you can imagine, tried to enact these. Uh, in Pennsylvania, particularly the way our straight state government hierarchy is structured, with the exception of places like Pittsburgh and Philly that have what's called home owner, they want power to act kind of state-like. We're actually, uh, there's a question about whether we have the authority under state law to regulate this or whether it's more appropriate under our Pennsylvania constitutional structure, something that has to be done at a state level. Um, so there, there's a concern with that where we don't have one on the table here or that issue. Um, and it would invite a lawsuit if actually somebody did file a permit and we denied one. And since we don't have one, and since there is legislation brewing on the, on the Commonwealth, my initial recommendation was not to expend all the resources at this time. But that's certainly a legal system. I would say, you know, if there's a way we could do it, let's pursue this. Our options. It's, 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 it makes sense, obviously. Yeah, certainly not. They are susceptible to those sorts of challenges. Yeah. Tom, is it due to discrimination of allowing a business in, or no? There's a question under Pennsylvania state law as to what sorts of things the local government are allowed to regulate in terms of business, because a lot of things are regulated on the state or could be preempted by state law, if it's specifically regulated, or generally there's an argument to be made that it's not within the zone of powers that we were given to regulate on a local, local governmental level. If we can enact such an ordinance, there is a, there is a, there is a risk, and it has happened around the country, if you know, somebody would to file one to challenge it, you would be in litigation about it. Let's take a look at, uh, I think that's a good idea. Let's see what we can do. Sure. So it's what, definitely what's worth, a, definitely worth taking a look. What's the time frame, Jason, I'm looking to submit submit something through the state, or is it just he has to get more buy-in? I believe it's being introduced before Humane Lobby Day in Harrisburg, which is April 16th. So sometime in the next few weeks. And if it goes statewide, I'm basically applying to the right Yeah. Yes. They call you guys. Yes. They don't sell puppies. They don't. They don't sell puppies. They sell goldfish. Uh, for uh, pet supplies, yeah. bless you. Yeah. yeah, they don't sell. There's no. Right. There, there's no pet store in Virginia right now. That's all puppies. And that's called. Oh, oh, that's a pet supplies. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. 
So I don't think it would cost any money. No, no, we're not worried about that. No, we're still worried. No, we're not talking about it because. And we're not trying to affect businesses, like right. not, so the businesses can still open. <clears throat> It's just a matter of where they get. The, the money risk wouldn't be in an acting ordinance. Mm -hmm. The money risk would be in if, if, if it were challenged and there was associated with it. And you said that, that somebody. There <laughs> have been lawsuits in other country. states around the country challenging know. local ordinances which have attempted to prove these types of ordinances have attempted. I wasn't aware of that. Yeah, maybe I can. Uh, we'll look at it. We'll, we'll look at it. Okay. Thanks. All right. Any other questions? Thanks for considering. Thank you very much.